All right, hey, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows on your PC. So let's get started. Now for this video and this setup, you're going to need a USB drive of some kind because you're going to need to download Windows onto it. Another thing you'll need to know is what key to press when you turn your computer on to get it to something called the BIOS screen. So let's plug in the Windows USB into our laptop or whatever it is you're trying to install Windows on. So let's just turn this on. And then as it's turning on, you'll see on the screen that it'll start up. And we would need to press F12 is our key for this model of PC. So you can just look that up uh, depending on what model PC you have. It'll be different sometimes. But here we go, I'm pressing F12. Boom. So now I'm in this fancy menu, right? It's because I'm now going to do the BIOS stuff. So um, I can enter setup, I guess. It already has Windows on it, but I'm going to reinstall it on a different drive. So let's go to setup. And then here you're going to be presented with this big old screen of like all the different things you can do. What I need to do is go to startup and then primary boot sequence. Let's choose that. So right now, the only it's called a boot manager, like a bootloader. Basically, you may already have Windows on your computer, and the way it got there was somebody installed it. But if you're trying to install it for the first time, you need to do it from USB because that's where you have the Windows boot driver, so you need to install it on your machine for the very first time. So um, here I put in the excluded for boot order, all these other things, but... Now I'm going to include it again, actually, because I want to reinstall Windows. I'm trying to remember the exact key to actually get it to include this. Ah, oh, yeah, it's on the right-hand side. So over here it says, excluded from boot order. Use up and down to arrows to select the device, plus and minus to move the device up or down. X excludes slash includes the device. So let's do this. Let's go to USB HDDDs or whatever, and then... We want to include it now, so we select slash on the keyboard. There we go. Oh, wait. What does that do? I do plus? No. X? Maybe? Yeah. So X just switches it, I guess, up to the top. So now it's included. And then I want to exclude this one because I want to reinstall Windows. So. Let's just exclude it. Okay, so now we're only on the hard disk drives as our boot sequence. And you may not need to do this depending on your device's setup, but sometimes it is necessary. So now the primary boot sequence is only USB. Um, I don't think we need to do anything else. Let's just double check these. Yeah, so we got USB and now we want to save. So F10 is save and exit. Let's click that. So save configuration. Yes. All right. So now it's going to turn back off. And we'll turn it on. Or maybe it'll turn on by itself. Okay, turn on by itself. So over here, it probably will go to the USB boot because that's what we told it to do. Let's be sure, I guess. Let's find out. Okay, no operating system found. Boot sequence will automatically repeat. No operating system found. Boot sequence will automatically repeat. Okay, this seems wrong. All right, so I actually had the wrong USB to begin with. That's my bad. Um, I had this one, the smaller one. I just had nothing on there. But it was actually this bigger one here. So if you look, I just plug that in. And I'm seeing it has some stuff in there. So that's what I actually need. Let's just look it up real quick. Windows install media create installation media yeah so basically like you just select which windows operating system you want and you download the installation media yeah and then you put it on your usb all right so let's try this again plug that puppy in there okay turn this on and since it has the boot stuff already, uh, I think we'll see a different screen. No operating system found. 
Okay. So, ah, so I had the wrong thing. I guess it's under USB keys. So let's just exclude the HDD and do H, uh, USB keys. So that's what we want instead. Let's save this puppy, save. Okay, so I had the wrong boot menu thingy to start up. Yeah, that's gonna be tricky. So in case you're curious about this PC, it has three hard drives. One's a hard drive, hard disk drive, and then it has two solid state drives. You can check out my video about the PC above. So that kind of gives it a motivation as to even why we're doing this. It's because I'm needing to install Windows on a different drive. Okay, something's happening. Like you see this little loading circle here. So yeah, now we'll be presented with like options of installing Windows. So let's see, there we go. Okay, so now it'll come up with this menu. Windows, you can select your language and location. Next, uh, install now. And then it'll present you a screen with like which drive you want to install Windows on. So here's like, you have a re you have a product key. I mean, you can put in your product key if you have one, or if you're reinstalling Windows, uh, a copy will be made for you. So I'm just gonna say, I don't have a product key. Yeah, so now you can choose whichever version. We'll just go with home. Okay, so yes, of course, I accept these terms and agreements like everyone else. And then, so, let me just read these real quick. When it's supported version of Windows. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'd want to reinstall Windows completely. So let's do this. Okay, so here you find your drives. And like, the one I'm going to do it on is this really big one. The 1800 gigabyte one. And what I also want to do is like format these other ones. So basically we just have a clean slate. We have three drives, like my video shows of the computer itself. And then we see how big each one is. So what we're going to do is check, we're going to select the drive that you want to install Windows on as your primary like PC. And you're going to select new and then you just can make it as big as you want. I'm just going to use the whole space here. Okay, there we go. So we have, the th it makes partitions. So basically you have a physical drive, but it splits it up logically, virtually in three different partitions. So now, okay, next. Okay, so now it's with copying Windows stuff onto that drive itself. All right, so we're back. It just finished loading that screen. Now it's back here again with a circle. We're back with the blue. the heck? Oh no. This happened before. Oh yes, this is what's happening. So now I've installed Windows on that hard drive, but I did not include that hard drive in the boot order. So it's not reading the installation. And so what I'm going to need to do is just turn this off, off again. Okay. Let's turn this off. Okay, turn this on again. Okay, and then over here, I'm just going to press F12 again to get to the BIOS. And we'll see that there's one more disk there available for the boot menu, which I need to add into the boot order. So boot order means that basically it's going to try a list of places to boot from before it gives up. And so I only have one place listed on that list. It's the USB drive, which is to install Windows. Now that I've installed Windows onto a drive, I want to choose that drive next for the boot order. So I need to add it to the boot order. So I'm just clicking F12 a bunch. Here, what I can do is actually, I can just remove this USB now because it's been installed. So I'll just plop that there, turn this on, and we'll go, we'll just go directly to the boot menu, the BIOS menu. All right, so I'm clicking F12. Okay, there we go. So let's go to setup and then over to startup, primary boot sequence. Ah, yeah, so let's remove the USB one and we're gonna put now, there's the SATA Windows Boot Manager. So that's the new one that I just made. And you can see my other drives are empty, the Samsung and the um, Western Digital. So let's 
put the SATA up here as my Windows Boot Manager, and then save and exit is F10, so F10. Okay, save, yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna skip this part. It's like asking you to name your computer. Nice, here we are, we're in it. Windows is now installed on this bad boy. So there you go. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, hope you liked it. Hope it helped you get set up. Let me know if you have questions in the comments because this is a very confusing process. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.